TCL company makes t TVs, a lot of displays, things like this. They got a new display technology, which is somewhere between an actual uh, typical LCD display and an e-ink display, but with color. It's somewhere in between the two. They're trying to save your eyeballs, Will. You're getting all strained. You're doing the late night reading. You're staying up too late. And, and you're looking at the screens and the bloodshot eyes. Yeah. You're doing damage. Every night. <laughs> You're doing damage, yeah. man. It's yeah, it's hard, man. It's really hard. Yeah, put it down. Put the device I down. Can't. Well, anyway, so I don't know if you ever mess around with an e-ink display, but yeah, they're great. So the thing about them, they're reflecting light, right? Whether it's daylight or whether it's a lamp or something, you're you're. That's why if you turn the lights off, you see nothing on the e-ink unless you have a backlight mm. on some of those. But because of that. It's a sort of more natural, more ambient thing. It's less of a retina burn. I mean, am I explaining e-ink to people? You understand. It's less eye fatigue when you're reading for long periods. Maybe you use the... Check the ringtone, by the way, real quick. You see, that'll get you in the right mood. That's a stock ringtone on a stock Samsung ringtone. It's kind of wild. It'll just chill you right out. Uh... Everybody knows when you're reading for long periods of time on something like a Kindle, there's advantages to the e-ink. Well, the problem with e-ink, it's pretty low tech, man. It's just black and white in most cases, and and it, you know has some limitations for as far as details concerned and things like this. So advantages and drawbacks. I remember we did an e-ink smartphone at one time. Yeah. How about that for the notifications? <laughs> Anyways, a lot of people have been trying to figure out the color e-ink thing. And you were looking at an article the other day. I saw people, read, they were reading the Marvel comics with the colored e-ink. And that's a pretty cool look. What this TCL one, they claim it's even better. On the TCL one, they claim it's going to operate a lot like an LCD display. But, but, but a lot of the light that shows up on the screen is actually going to be reflected from the light source in the space. Which is then going to give you a much healthier eyeball experience, supposedly. Uh, better eye prote protection by reducing flicker, blue light, and light output. The company said the effect is similar to e-ink, calling it a combination of screen and paper. So they're targeting tablets and e-readers. And uh, they say compared to e-ink, this version will offer 25% higher contrast using a highly reflective screen to reuse natural light. It'll also be thinner than a typical LCD, about 36% thinner. So uh, e-ink has some drawbacks right now when it comes to trying to enjoy multimedia content as well. Mm. Uh, you can't, you try to throw a video on there. I mean, it's a, it, the refresh, the whole thing is, re it's a disaster. So they're going to bump up the refresh rate? Uh, typically e-ink devices refresh at very slow rates, making it difficult to enjoy videos or animations. If TCL's NXT paper does support smooth video playback at a respectable frame rate, it would be noteworthy. So I guess they didn't say for certain what they're going to do with that yet. But if it is a true merging of the technologies, maybe. Mm -hmm. In which case, now you can save your eyeballs at night, Willie Do.